Hey y'all, I'm back in the room, about to get ready for my Michael Jackson show. Okay, y'all, I almost didn't make it to the toilet. I took a bath before I left, but girl, we got to make sure we clean for this show we going to, so I'm gonna take another bath. guys so i am getting ready to go i just took a quick shower and i tried to i tried to uh get a lift but i don't know if it worked so i'm probably gonna have to take a taxi and see how much it cost so anyway <sighs> let me go okay you guys i got on my wig i didn't have time to put on makeup i wanted to do all of that but so i got the way to hat because i have time to to glue this down to my head and I don't want nobody to pull my wig off, so. Okay. They don't make money, you know. We yeah. you know, just. Okay, you guys, fun. I am on my way to the Michael Jackson Circus Olay, and I caught a cab because, girl, I tried to put the the uh the lift app on my phone for the first time i don't think i did it right so it didn't tell me nothing i didn't finalize it or nothing so we are about to see how this show is going to if i think it's worth the money um this is very taxing <laughs> this is this is a very taxing experience, you guys. You guys have to plan ahead. And I hope that y'all learn from my mistakes because I did not plan ahead. I actually thought the um, I thought the show was at the Mirage right here, which was close by me. But they said that they are like separate so it's at a whole different other hotel which is mandolin bay so i have to catch a taxi there and i'm going to end up having to catch a taxi back to my hotel as well so this is a taxing experience just keep that in mind okay so anyway i will talk to you guys later let's see how much this uh how long this ride takes because the show starts at seven so i hope i get there on time and uh let's see how much it costs <laughs> i'm gonna let y'all know okay
Yes, we are at Mandolin Bay, and now I have to figure out where the Circus Olay is going to be. I should have brought a jacket. I see him with one, and I should have brought me a jacket, y'all. So, anyway, this is a beautiful, thank you. This is a beautiful hotel. Let me see if I can find the circus away. I made it in time to the show. The taxi was $16. So that was reasonable. I don't know why I was thinking they was going to get me. Oh, but I'm going to have to catch the taxi back to the hotel. The show is over. Gonna be amazed to get out of here. The lobby. 
just gonna be a maze to get up out of here. morning everybody it is the next day uh, I went to the Michael Jackson Circus Olay last night and I got back and y'all I was so beat I had a long day walking around touring uh, checking out the nearby uh, hotels and just different things, sightseeing. And whew, I had to rush back and take a quick, when I say quick, I mean quick bath. I had to catch a taxi and uh, be seated. And the show was good. So let me give y'all a rundown of the Michael Jackson Circus Ole. It was very well put together. It was like they was just playing a lot of Michael Jackson songs and doing acrobatics to the songs. It was a lot going on. Like they had uh, like two screens on the side of the center stage. And so they had stuff going on on the screen and then they had stuff going on on the stage and then they had people doing acrobats in the ceiling girl like you had to pick what to keep your eyes on because if you're looking at the screen then you're missing what's on the stage and if you're looking at what's going up in the ceiling, then you missing what's on the stage and you miss girl, you don't, your eyes just don't know what to watch. But it was a good show. It was well put together. Uh, there were a lot of Michael Jackson fanatics there. A lot of people who like just followed Michael Jackson and just loved, loved, loved him. And uh, I wasn't a Michael Jackson fanatic. I liked Michael Jackson. I thought he was a very uh, incredible artist. Uh, you know, I thought he was very good at what he did. But I don't make people out of idols. So I don't think I probably got the same experience as the people who like idolized Michael Jackson. Um, my ticket... I was all the way up to the top as far as you can go. Was almost two hundred dollars, a hundred and seventy-seven dollars for being all the way up at the top, girl. I don't even want to imagine how much the tickets cost for the people that was at the stage. Uh, but it was a put together show. They played a lot of Michael Jackson hits. They played a couple of songs of his, like two or three songs that I had never heard before. I was like, Michael Jackson song, that song. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so it was a real good, what is the word I'm looking for? Uh, I don't know what the word I'm looking for. You know, they keeping... Michael Jackson uh, alive and something for the fans to participate in and it was nice it was nice I enjoyed it um, I'm glad I ex I'm experiencing things and just getting out and seeing stuff and just doing stuff so I'm glad I did it um, I don't know if it would be worth getting closer because you still can see everything from where you're at so my suggestion to you is to uh get the cheapest ticket farther back to me is not going to make that big of a difference um uh, and try to buy your tickets early in advance because i think it would be cheaper i think you'll probably excuse me get a ticket 
cheaper than what I paid um, if you purchase it early. I purchased mine the day before. So, yeah. I'm also going to the Beatles Circus Olay, which is cheaper. My ticket is like $88 for that. But it might have a lot to do with the hotel, too. The show production, I don't know. Because uh, the the um, Beetle one is at a different hotel. It's at the Mirage. And uh, Michael Jackson was at the Mandolin Bay. Uh, just to let you know, I am staying at... Uh, treasure island so just to let you know uh if you're staying near treasure island and you're going to see the michael jackson show you are going to have to uber lift or catch a taxi or drive over that way i don't know if they have parking in that area uh but i mean if you could drive you could drive that way. Now, if you have a tall vehicle like me, it is going to be hard for you to find extended parking. So let me just give y'all the rundown and the dealio. The area that I'm in, Treasure Island, uh, I'm at the Treasure Island Hotel, the Mirage, the... Uh, the Viaton, I don't know how to pronounce that hotel, y'all, is in the area where I'm at. And uh, the Treasure Island have free parking. But uh, the height of the garage is 6 feet 10 inches. So any bigger vehicle uh, like my van will not fit in the garage. So you are not gonna be able to get free parking. So I had to park in it in parking lot in the parking lot for oversized vehicles and that is thirty extra dollars a day in addition to your hotel stay. So if you're staying in this area and you have a van like mine, um uh, or a RV, you're gonna have to pay for extended parking. So keep that in mind. You might wanna try to stay at a hotel that has an open parking lot. I don't know if they have any of those around here. So you might wanna inquire about that uh, ahead of time and uh, know that you're gonna have to possibly lift or Uber places because a lot of the places are not going to have parking lots for you to park your larger vehicle and get close to the business. So keep that in mind. So I just left my van because I was going to try to drive my van to the hotel. But when I called the hotel, uh, she was like, she don't think it's any open parking. And she was like, if you have a place that your vehicle is parked right now and it accommodates a large oversized vehicle, I will keep it there. <laughs> I will keep it there. So I called a cab there and it was it was a lot of traffic going there. I called a cab there and the cab was $16 and I called a cab back and it was $19. Um I don't know why it was more coming back, but then it was still a lot of traffic because it was so many people at the Michael Jackson, I'm just gonna call it a concert, but at the Michael Jackson Circus Olay, everybody got out, everybody caught a cab there. So it was a lot of traffic as well coming back. So pretty much I paid $40 uh, for transportation to get to the concert. Now the Mirage, the Beetle one, I'm gonna walk because it's just the next hotel over. So keep that in mind when you're booking stuff, how far away it may be from you, uh, the different activities. A lot of uh, the hotels, a lot of the shows and activities 
that my subscribers want me to see while I'm down here, they are on the other end of the strip. The strip is about four miles long, you guys. And so you're gonna have to catch a taxi or Uber to the other stuff. So a lot of the other stuff that my subscribers want me to see is on the other end excuse me it's on the other end of the strip so that was it for my day y'all i enjoyed the show i enjoyed walking around and seeing uh the different sites to see like i say today i am going to the beatles show and i want to get a lot done today uh because this is my last full day here uh i came sunday night and checked in sunday night a full day monday a full day tuesday and i check out tomorrow wednesday uh by noon so i don't know why i thought my check out was gonna be thursday by noon that's what i wanted it to be in my mind but I would have had the book another day and I thought, I don't know. I thought that's that was how I was gonna work out. I thought I was gonna have a full day Wednesday, but I guess not. So I'm checking out tomorrow by noon. I don't know if I'm gonna end up going to another hotel, a cheaper hotel and go to the other end of the strip and just like make it a weekend or something. I'm not sure, or just go straight and check my mail. I'm an hour drive from uh, Pahrump. So we'll see what I end up doing. If I end up going check my mail and uh, coming back, or maybe Wednesday when I check out, I could just go do some more sightseeing and then check into a hotel later that night somewhere else so I can give y'all a review at another hotel. So that's what I'm up to, you guys. I enjoyed myself. Uh, the restaurants that I wanted to eat at, I'm not able to uh, eat there uh, this time around because I didn't make any reservations. You have to make reservations ahead of time. So if you're gonna go to a restaurant that's popular and you wanna eat at the seafood buffet places, they are by reservation. So you need to keep that in mind. So anyway, y'all, that's gonna be it for this video. And I'm about to get up and I wanna go to the swimming pool today and I wanna do a tour of uh, Treasure Island for you guys. And let me know in the comments if any of you have ever stayed at Treasure Island. And let me know any of the other hotels in Las Vegas that you guys want me to tour. So you guys will have a heads up on that particular hotel. So I think that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to uh, tour uh, Treasure Island. And I'm probably going to tour the Mirage since... I am going to uh, be going to the Beatles, uh, the Beatles Circus Olay, and the hotel that I went to yesterday. I don't know if you, how you pronounce that, the Vietan, the Venetian, or whatever. I think it's the Venetian. Uh, I'm gonna go and actually tour that one for y'all as well. That's a nice hotel. Uh, those are some of the hotels around me. The Flamingo is around me. Uh, several more hotels are around me as well. So anyway, you guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Look below the video, double check, and make sure you're subscribed. Sometimes uh, people get unsubscribed for no reason so look underneath the video if the subscribe button is black or red you are not subscribed to the channel hit it once 
and then hit the bell and then hit all. Make sure you hit the bell and hit all so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video or I go live. And if you could do the same thing for Vanessa VIPB, I would appreciate it. We're almost at 11,000 subscribers on that channel as well. And if you wanna support the channel in any shape, form or fashion, all my information is in the description box below. My Cash App, my PayPal, my Amazon wish list, and my mailing address. Just look below the video and click more twice or the down arrow twice, and all my information will appear. And shout out to all my subscribers who are members on the channel who sign up for the membership, and uh, to all my subscribers who are making monthly donations and contributing. Uh, through PayPal and Cash App. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you to the people that are shopping my Amazon wish list that are sending me gifts. I appreciate you guys and I love you guys and you have a blessed and wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye now.